a common question that is brought up with uh, returning back to proper sleep is how to break the cycle of poor sleep habit. And as you noticed with a few slides ago, uh, I mentioned that in talking about light at night in your room, it's helpful to try to block out all ambient light. The theory being that if the retina of the eyes, that's the back of the eyes, senses any kind of light, uh, it'll assume that it's daytime. And when you hear, or when you see light and the brain assumes it's daytime, it stops the production of melatonin. Uh, you notice in the circadian rhythm cycle picture that's uh, coming up, uh, it, it might be coming up or it might have uh, already passed in the slideshow, but it shows uh, time periods when melatonin starts. That's a hormone that's secreted in the brain. And then also times when melatonin stops. It usually corresponds to nightfall. So the brain has this intrinsic uh, built-in alarm clock of its own that correlates with the sunrise and sunset. So in the, the civilization of the human species, we have tried to create light at night for comfort and security, and it has blossomed into the millennium where we have light 24 hours a day. So that does interfere with uh, some people, uh, especially some folks who have, say, diabetes or anxiety um, or do a lot of shift work. And being exposed to that much light uh, when you're supposed to be sleeping stimulates the production, or I'm sorry, it decreases the production of melatonin, and the brain when it does not have melatonin, is always in fast wave, uh, uh, fast brain wave production. If the brain is uh, using or um, firing off neurons, brain cells at a fast rate, that's something called beta wave. And uh, in the previous slides, I've shown how sleep is sometimes induced with slow wave, uh, alpha wave, then it goes into delta wave, then it goes into theta wave. So and then you go into REM, rapid eye movement. So if there's excessive light that's being experienced through the eyes, the sense organ of the eyes, the brain will shut down melatonin and it will think that you're supposed to be awake. It'll make you hyper alert. It'll uh, ask the brain to not go into slow wave sleep, so it'll be harder. So in the long run, uh, trying to block out all ambient light, and as I mentioned in the lecture, including an LCD that might be uh, on your nightstand. And sometimes if you just, uh, you know, there's usually three, um, three numbers that are being shown the hour and then the minutes. If you just turn that a bit, so instead of it facing you directly, it faces you on the side, you'll make it at least a sliver, or just cover it all together and trust that your alarm will go off at a certain amount or a certain time in the morning. Um, so uh, if you can, try to block out all ambient sources, and that means not only in the room, but coming in from the hallway, um, from machines like an alarm clock uh, or from a phone. In addition, try to decrease the use of or the exposure to a computer terminal, a TV, an iPhone, uh, two hours before hitting the sack, uh, getting to bed, starting your ritual, and it'll help with inducing a ritual or inducing the uh, the slow brain waves that help get you to sleep.